Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. In this video, I'll walk you through building a CRUD application in under 10 minutes using Filament 4. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Navigate to the directory where you want to install your Laravel 12 app. Then, right-click and select Open in Terminal to open a terminal window in that location. In your terminal, type the command Laravel new your project name and press Enter. Next, for starter kit, type none and press enter. Now for testing framework, type zero for pest and press enter. For the database, type MySQL and press enter. For database migration, type no and press enter, since we haven't created the database yet. Next, type yes and press enter to run npm install and npm run build, which will install dependencies and compile front-end assets. The installation is complete. Now, type cd your project name to navigate into your project directory. Next, open your project in Visual Studio Code. Now, we need to create a database for our app. Open.env file. Copy this database name. In PHP My Admin, click New, paste the database name, and click Create to set up the database. Next, we need to migrate the database. Go back to VS Code and open your terminal. Type the command PHP Artisan Migrate and press Enter to migrate the database. The database has been migrated. Now, let's install the Filament Panel Builder. Open Filament 4 docs and copy the first command. Paste the command you copied and press Enter. Filament 4 has been installed successfully. Next, we need to install filament panels. Copy the second command. Paste the command you copied and press enter. When prompted for the panel's ID, type admin and press enter. For the GitHub star prompt, type no and press enter. The installation is complete. Next, we need to create a user. Click here to copy this command. Paste the command you copied and press enter. Enter the name of the user and press enter. Next, enter the user's email and press enter. Finally, enter the password and press enter. The user has been created. Next, type the command composer run dev to run our app. You can see that both the Laravel and white servers have started. Now, navigate to localhost colon 8000 forward slash admin forward slash login to access the admin login page. Enter your email and password, then click the login button. You should be redirected to the admin dashboard. Here, you can see the dashboard. Next, let's create the post model along with the migration. Click here and select command prompt to open a new command prompt. Type the command php artisan make colon model post dash m and press enter. Both the post class and the posts migration file have been created. Open posts migration file which is inside the database migrations folder. Next, let's add the columns. Duplicate this line of code three times. First, add a title column of type string with a unique constraint. In the second column, add a body column of type text. In the third column, add a boolean is underscore published column with a default value of false. Next, let's migrate the database. Open your terminal. Type the command php artisan migrate and press enter to migrate the database. The database has been migrated. Now, let's add the dollar fillable property to the post model. Open post.php file, which is inside app, models folder. Here, add title, body, and is underscore published to the dollar fillable array. Next, we need to create post resource. Open your terminal. Type CLS to clear the terminal. Type the command php artisan make colon filament dash resource post dash dash simple and press enter. The dash dash simple flag is a shortcut for quickly generating a filament resource that uses models for CRUD operations. You will see a prompt asking for the title attribute for this model. We will leave it blank, so just press enter. Next, you will see a prompt for generating a read-only view model for the resource. Type yes and press enter. Finally, when asked if the configuration should be generated from the database columns, type yes and press enter. The post resource file has been created. Open the filament directory 
Then go to Resources, Posts. Inside, you'll find a Pages folder containing the ManagePosts.php file. Also, you'll see the PostResource.php file in the same Posts folder. Here, you'll see the form method, which defines the fields for creating or editing a post. Next, there's the InfoList method, which customizes the form for inline editing of posts. After that, the table method configures the table columns for displaying posts in the list view. And finally, the getPages method returns the pages with a manage posts page for managing posts at the root route. Go to the admin dashboard and reload the page. You should now see the posts link in the sidebar. Click on it and you'll be taken to the posts page, which includes a new post button, a search box, and a table with columns for title and is published. Now, click on the new post button and a modal will open. Enter title, body, toggle this published field to true and then click create to add the post. You'll see that the post has been created and a created notification will appear at the top of the page. Click on the view button and a modal will open displaying the post's title and body. Click on the edit button and the edit modal will open. Update the title and body, then click save changes. A saved notification will appear at the top and the post will be updated. Click here to view the post. A modal will open displaying the title, these published status, marked as true, and the created and updated timestamps. Now, let's display the body in both the table and the view modal as well. Duplicate this line of code and replace title with body. Next, in the info list method, duplicate this line and replace title with body. Now, go back to the dashboard and reload the page. You should see the body column in the table. Click on view and the modal will open, displaying the body of the post along with the title, published status, and the created and updated timestamps. Click on this icon, select created at and updated at, then click on apply columns. You should now see the created at and updated at columns in the table. Click on this icon again, deselect created at and updated at, then click on apply columns. Both columns will be removed from the table. Now, let's add validation for minimum length maximum length, and a unique title. We need to add the validation in the form method. In the title input, first remove this comma, then use method chaining with the min length and max length methods to set a minimum length of 3 and a maximum length of 255. Next, add the unique validation rule for the email field. In the parentheses, specify the post model using post double colon class, then add the field name email, followed by a comma, and then add ignore record. True to ensure the current record is excluded when checking for uniqueness. Finally, chain the label method to set the label to title and add a comma. For the body input, copy the min length method and paste it after the required method. Then, replace 3 with 10 to set the minimum length to 10. Next, copy the label method, paste it after min length, replace title with body, and remove the comma. Here, we are referencing the post model, so make sure to import it at the top of your file. Go back to the dashboard and reload the page. Click on new post to open the model. Enter the title, body, and set the is underscore published status to false, then click create. You will see that the post has been created. Click on new post again to open the create post model. Enter the existing title, add a body with less than 10 characters, set is published to true and click create. You'll see the message. Please lengthen this text to 10 characters or more in the body field. Increase the body text to 10 characters or more, then click Create. You should now see an error message in the title field. The title has already been taken. Add a new title and click Create. You will now see that the post has been created. Open admin panel provider.php file. Add the sidebar collapsible on desktop method to make the sidebar collapsible on both desktop and mobile. Then, Add the sidebar width method to set the sidebar width to 15 rem. Finally, change the color to pink. Go back to the dashboard and reload the page. You should now see a toggle button at the top and the theme color should have changed to pink. Let's add to more posts. Search for fourth and you should see the post in the search results. If you search for sixth, you'll see a no posts message as there is no post with the word sixth. Finally, search for third and you should see the post in the search results. Select this post and click delete. A confirmation modal will open. Click delete again and the post will be deleted. Now, select two posts, 
Then click on the Bulk Actions button and choose Delete Selected. A confirmation model will open. Click Delete again and both posts will be deleted. In this tutorial, we learned how to quickly create a CRUD application using Filament 4 and Laravel 12 with an admin panel in under 10 minutes. If you want to see the complete CRUD application with more customization, click on the video to the right. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content. Feel free to drop any questions or comments below and I'll be happy to help. I will see you in next tutorial. Till then stay safe.